Today we're going to be doing hard surface modeling and basic modeling tips as well. So up here are your primitives and these are just basic shapes. We scale that up and we start with the cube. Move this to the side. Well, actually I might keep it there. I might just scale it up so we can see what's underneath. This is just a little demonstration. First of all, I like to uh, have symmetry within the model. So I'll go to Edge, the Knife tool. And if we click Control and the middle mouse button, I'll put a loop cut down the middle of the object. Now if we click one edge and then double click the one next to it, that'll select the entire loop. But I'm going to select these faces. Uh, delete them and if you want to mirror them you can also come up to mesh and click mirror you want to do this in object mode mesh mirror and you get a mirror we don't want to get rid of it we want to put symmetry x world on you can use object as well putting symmetry on makes the job so much easier because it's really only doing half the job Maya technically does the other side for you and you can when you're in you're in object mode when you start if you are right mouse button you can select face vertice or edge we're gonna select a vertice and vertice is a single point like a vertex we can move that around or we can select an edge Or we can select a face. Now let's say we wanted to extrude. We can do control E. You can pull that out. Maybe we can scale it. And also W is the hotkey for move. E is for rotation. And R is for scale. So, control E again, and we can use the offset to sort of inset the extrusion. So, if we wanted, we can go control E again, and we can inset that. And then we could select edge, and select all these edges here. And we can go control B to bevel. Like that. Now let's say if we extruded this out enough to, to where these were in the same spot pretty much. Like if I was to like if I was to grab this, put it there. We have so with the two vertices that are right next to each other selected, we can come up to edit mesh and in edit mesh we can merge, merge the center. And we've got options as well for the threshold uh, because these are pretty much in the same spot. You could just go merge the center, but basically the threshold distance is uh, how far off they are from each other. And depending on if it's within that radius, it will merge that vertice. If you want to soften an edge, you can come up to mesh, uh, edit mesh, no sorry, mesh display and soften edge, or you can even make it a hardened edge. Now let's say this is our object, a bit, uh, not the best object as you can see, but um, we want to sort of get better topology, right? Because this is an n-gon, for example. And so we, we want to select all the n-gons. So we can come up here to select. Use constraints. All in next. N-sided. Now give us all the n-gons. And then we can come over to mesh. Triangulate. 
and then we can make the triangle tries the quads with uh quadrangulate now let's say we want this to be a hard surface model we need to put bevels in there so next we can go to select uh, with the edge mode selected go to use constraints all and next hard then we can go to nothing and off and then when we have you can also select any edges you want to also count and I'll also select it on the other side and then we can go control B and now add our bevel we can add our segments we can do five or we can just do one I'm gonna go for two and we can also select our fraction of how big we want our bevel to be I think 0.5 is actually pretty good the default value so that's basically the hard surface modeling tools basics in our uh, Maya there are different ways of doing this but this is the way I do it because I think it's the most efficient and that's just the basics but right now I'm going to show you guys how to do a curve now we want to come up to create and we want to go to the curve tools and I'm going to use the EP curve tool and we want to go press space and then we can go over here and we could add a curve and curve is good for multiple things such as and then we want to press enter but a curve is good for cables cords uh, pipes all that sort of stuff and we go into the move tool and then with that we need to pull in a cylinder then we can come into face mode and I'm going to delete everything except of the top bit I'm going to scale this down and let's say we want to move this along the curve we're going to press C and middle mouse button there you go and you want to press on the pivot and then you'll get this now depending on which side you want this to be if this is black you want to select it go to face and you come up to mesh display and reverse but we want it on this side so now in face mode we want to select everything here shift uh, left click the curve and control E and then all we need to do is add divisions 50 and that is your curve as you can see here it's actually flipped the normals so we just come up to here to face select it all come to the mesh display and we can uh, reverse, reverse the normals so that is some basic tricks in Maya on how to do hard surface modeling now I'm gonna go into modeling sort of like a jetpack on the back of this character since the last video I did model this sort of torso area so I'm gonna get into doing some time-lapse hard surface modeling here. Now something I forgot to mention when modeling is if we grab an object here, make it a bit bigger so we can notice the difference, we can use booleans to model complex shapes out of these simple primitive shapes so if I come up here I, get, I select the main mesh then the cutter come to mesh boolean and I can click difference to take out or I can do 
union put it all t together into one object or I can come up to booleans and intersect and that will leave what's left of what this object intersects with this one just a few more tips on how to model is I was to grab this and let's say this was gone and we have some loop cuts we come over the edge and if we select these two for example we can come up here to uh, edit mesh and bridge it sort of makes a bridge between them also got full fill hole that will fill in the hole there's just a few more that are pretty useful that are pretty basic as well just wanted to quickly demonstrate okay I'll get back into the time lapse <laughs>